Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at iBooks 2 and iBooks Author, both of which were released today. And for those of you that don't know, iBooks 2 basically brings textbooks to iBooks. And Apple is trying to start a digital revolution by replacing old, outdated, thick, heavy textbooks with virtual or digital textbooks on a slim device like the iPad 2. And hopefully other companies will pick this concept up because it is much better to have digital textbooks over the old, heavy, outdated textbooks because A, you can easily hold multiple textbooks in a single device like the iPad 2. And B, you can actually do things that you couldn't do with an outdated actual printed textbook, such as interact with the textbook itself actually highlight different portions of the text, create notes, virtual notes that can easily be changed at any time, and see they will be able to update the textbooks when new information becomes available instead of having to reprint it, not to mention the fact that these textbooks are significantly cheaper than actual printed textbooks because again, you're not paying for the printed material, you're not paying for the services to actually print the textbooks, on the material. So again, it is much cheaper and much more efficient to have a virtual textbook over an old outdated printed textbook. So now that I've gone over a couple things like that, we're actually going to take a look at the newest version of iBooks. So let's swipe over here and we'll load up iBooks. Keep in mind that I am running this on an iPad 2 here, so things will be more smooth on this than if you're running an iPad 1. So first of all, you will notice it is exactly like the regular version of iBooks or the older version of iBooks. It has the same interface. The only thing that's different is when you go to store, you have a new menu. You will notice when you load up featured here, it has a new iBook section and you can actually tap on the newest iBooks section, it's called textbooks, and it will bring you to all of the textbooks. Right now, there aren't many textbooks that you can pick from. However, there will be support for other textbooks and they'll actually add more textbooks and subjects in the future, as well as higher level textbooks such as college books. And this can potentially be great if it's done right. So we have one free book that's in here right now. We're not actually going to download this, but uh, you can get free samples of the paid books. And right now, all of them are just $14.99. And I'm sure as most of you could imagine, $14.99 for an Algebra One textbook is absolutely amazing. I know they go anywhere from $60 or even $50 up to $100 plus for certain textbooks. So let's actually go ahead and just get a sample of one of these textbooks. We'll go to environmental science and we'll click get sample. And it just takes you back to your bookshelf and it downloads the sample as you would imagine. And you can actually go inside of it and you can buy the real version inside of the sample. So let's actually take a look at one of these books here. Let's go to environmental science. And as you can see, it has a sleek interface here. This is basically just the welcome screen and it looks like this sample is for chapter 14. So here at the bottom, we have a slider of the different sections inside of the chapter. So let's actually bounce to a section here. And as you can see, it brings up this new section with text and we have media right here. So we can actually tap on this and we get access to our media. And this is essential to actually learning new things and to learning new subjects is to have interactive media that you can actually use as a visual. So this is something that a old outdated textbook, like a printed textbook cannot offer you. And you can do things such as actually highlight different parts of it. So let's highlight this with blue. As you can see, we are now in the highlight mode and we can now highlight different texts. So let's highlight this text too. And we'll actually highlight that yellow. So you have this new way of actually highlighting, interacting with the book itself. And you can easily remember them, color code different parts of the text. And let's say you wanted to highlight it and then create a note for that section of text. You can easily do that. As you can see, we did bring up the note section here. We'll just add the note hi, uh, or hey, actually. But you can easily come back to that note and change it at any time. So let's bounce out of that. We can come back to it. And as you can see, we have our note hey. If we want to edit something, update the information, we can easily do that. We'll do return, and now we'll do hi. So as you can see, it says hey, hi, and 
we will bounce back out of here simply by pinching and it goes back to the main chapter section or the table of contents here and we can bounce to other portions of the textbook and you can simply swipe between them just like a regular book as well and you have the page number down below but the greatest thing is that when you come back the text is still highlighted you still have your original note or your updated note if you modified it and if you go all the way back out to your library and you go back to the book again you will still be able to access your highlighted text as well as your notes so let's go here and let's switch back to where we were I'm trying to remember where I put the notes here. Let's just flip through it. Okay, there we go. As you can see, the same text is still highlighted and we still have our same note here that we can easily access and edit. Uh, you can also buy the book, as I said, right within the actual sample itself. So let's say you're browsing through it and you decide, hey, I really like this textbook. You can click buy and you can purchase the full textbook itself. As usual, you have a brightness slider right within the textbook itself. So basically, this is just like the regular iBooks interface, but we have textbooks now and we have media rich textbooks, which is even better than just a regular book. So let's switch over to biology here and I'll show you something that's kind of cool, at least in my opinion. We have a video that plays and a lot of these different textbooks have really great introduction videos that play that I mean, this would make me want to read this textbook just with this video alone and with the music. Uh, it just looks stunning. All right there, wrapping up that video, and then it bounces to the chapter preview that we have here. In this case, it's chapter eight. But again, it's just more of the same thing. So I've basically gone over all of the different features of the new iBooks 2 with the textbooks feature. Now let's actually take a look at how you can create these textbooks and how you can create media rich books for iBooks. So let's come over here to a computer. We have a MacBook Air here and it is running iBooks Author. So this is just a standard template. It's just one of the basic ones. You do have more options than this, but I just chose the generic one. As you can see here, we can easily go to our glossary. We can add a couple things here, change the title of the first page. We can put in text anywhere we want. We can add a text box. Let's just add one here. And now we can position it wherever we want. We get lines to actually place it and to properly align it with other parts of the book. And we can insert shapes. As you can see, let's insert a shape here and you can't really see it, but uh, we did insert a square right there. You can change the color of it as well, but I'm not going to get too in depth. Let's add an arrow. So now we have an arrow that we can add. Again, we're not getting too in depth here. I'm just basically showing you this creation tool that authors and publishers will be able to use to create things like textbooks and media rich books. And as you can see, this is extremely smart software. If you move it into the text portion, if you move a shape or anything for that matter into the text portion, it will automatically align the text and wrap it around what you're actually trying to do. So it basically tries to fit into what you're doing. So that is really great. And I'm sure these tools will be absolutely amazing for the creators of these books and these textbooks. You can also switch the orientation. So this is how you would view it in portrait mode. This is how you would view it in landscape mode. So you can adjust how it's viewed. So let's actually go to a different page here. And as you can see, this is probably where you would add information on the section here. You could add some cool things like widgets. So you can add a gallery here. You can add media. So let's say you wanted to add a quick video snippet. You could actually add that inside of the book. You can add a keynote presentation. So if you created a short keynote presentation on the topic you're actually talking about in the textbook, you can add it there. You can create a preview. You can actually create an interactive image. You can create a 3D model or you can add your own HTML text. So basically the possibilities for this are limitless and you end up with something amazing like this 
textbook here that we have running on the iPad too. So I hope you guys like this video. I just went over the newest version of iBooks, again iBooks 2, which brings textbooks to the iPad. And I also went over iBooks Author, which is the tool that's used to create those books. So I hope you guys liked this video. Please remember to rate it up if you did. Leave any comments down below in the comment section. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed for more great videos. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.